Yeah, that's not how well, I understood. Well, Mr. Gomez, you informed me this morning that he's not opposing the application. Um, uh, I haven't really conversed the issue with my other colleagues. I suppose that their standpoint is still the same, but they can speak for themselves. Yes, Mr. Gomez. What is this, my lord? My lord, uh, <clears throat> I concur with my colleague to the effect that I do not oppose the application by the state. Okay, thanks. Mr. Ramsipin? As the court proceeds, my lord, my stance is that I'm not opposed to Hello? the application. I'm not opposed, my lord. You're not opposing? Yes. No, no, I don't want to talk to you, sir. Please, I'm just telling you. I wanted to make a submission regarding what? as to when we are coming back, my lord. We're coming back on Monday. Listen, I'm so sorry. I know Ramasipili bothers no one, okay? He even said it once that, listen, I am not like Ungo Mezulu. You know, I'm just a simple person, but my Lord, you're going to force me as well to react to your nonsense. Because what did Ramasipili do to deserve this? I, I shouldn't have put those clips together. Like you can see, Ramasipili did nothing wrong, okay? On Monday, all he said was, I do not object to standing up, okay? Standing up and just getting a tongue lashing. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk to you. That was unfair. That was uncalled for. That was rude. That was dismissive. Like, all these guys have LLBs, okay? And whatever additional certifications they have. As Umnisi said, I am, oh, as Ngomizulu said, I am an expert of the law. Come on now, Gomezulu. I mean, why treat them like this? This comment says, this writer is disrespectful. He thinks he is in his house. Exactly. Or a tavern. He is shameless. The world is watching and he is letting South Africa down. If there was ever a time, okay, the face in the dictionary, the Oxford dictionary, right besides the I do not care, it would be the face of Judge Retta, okay? He he does not care at this point. I just had to put those two clips together. But you know what? This video is really about Ungo Mizulu, okay? Ungo Mizulu said, you know what? I tried to let Umnisi, um, I tried to tell Umnisi, Ngumalo, and Umsholulu that they were wasting their time yesterday objecting this. We could, we could have avoided all this drama. Had you guys not objected, we could be moving all full force ahead. But guess what? We are exactly where Ungo Mizulu predicted. Stein on the stand. So let's go ahead and hear what Ungo Mizulu has to say. Because now the lion comes alive. My Lord, do you need more time to study these documents? Firstly, before I... <coughs> Uh, yeah. Answer the court's question. Yeah. There's something that actually puzzles me. Yeah. Regarding the this evidence to be led by the state. Mm. An application was brought by the state to reopen the case. Not to reopen the case. To to seek clarity. That's it. Yes. yes. That's what I want to. Yes. But I think that application it has never been mentioned as to how that clarification was. That's the point. This yes. is the witness who's going to clarify. The May court I, is in the dark like me. May I address the court? Yeah. There was no, in the application itself, it was not stated as to how such clarification was going to be elicited in this court, either orally or in terms of documentation. That's right. So now we are finished with more than 20 documents, uh, 15, yeah. more than 15 pages. Yeah. We haven't consulted with our clients. Yeah, not quite. And my Lord, a comment. I've requested that the state, in, in seeking this clarity, mm. Will it not invite new evidence? But looking at the papers that we're giving, it shows that there's something new that will crop up. Hello? Something new that will crop up here. I don't know. That's what I foresee. You're a prophet. I'm a prophet. Yeah, you foresee. I, I'm a legal expert. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not being cynical. No. You say I mean, this is what you foresee. That's what I foresee. If you foresee something. Yes. Yeah. From the look of things, my lord. Look, my lord, let us be genuine. If I'm saying the state, you know, there's something that I'm concerned about. Mm. The state brought an application. We didn't oppose it. We are fine. Not that we're doing the state a favor mm -hmm. for, for not opposing it. But the state should be transparent enough to the defense. They should tell us in their application that we intend to clarify this part of evidence by tendering certain documents in order for us to clarify the, the concern mm. that each party has. 
But this now the state, as it always the position, they like to take us by surprises. They always take us by surprises. We don't want to listen to this evidence until we are satisfied with this document. Is that uh, how a lawyer speaks? We don't want to listen to this evidence? Of this witness? We don't want to. We don't want to listen to it before we get into knowing what is in these documents. But uh, Mr. Baloy says he explained. But my lord, is it genuine enough or fair enough? I don't enough? know. I don't no, know. but I'm, this is what I'm submitting to the court. You bring an application. You say you sought to clarity on this part of but you don't state that this clarity will be expressed in the form of oral evidence or documentary evidence. Now you give us documents, then you want to lead evidence. That's not fair for the defense. That's not fair for the accused. Every time you need to succumb to all the requests that the state is making. Sir, are you available tomorrow? Yes, available tomorrow, but then going back on Thursday. Oh, sorry about that. Well, tomorrow is what? Wednesday, please, sir. What time are you going away on Wednesday? On Thursday, 11 o'clock. In the morning? Yes, sir. The court is prepared that uh, you should study the documents as you say you want to study them. How long do you need for that? This witness, I can prevail on him to come on Monday next week. So that somebody says we were taken by ambush. Are you available next week, Monday? I'm available, but you must keep in mind it's a long weekend. Ah, I know. Oh, no, no, the weekend starts on Friday. Yeah, but to get, to get back to Joseph. Oh, you'll be back on what? Where? On, in, in the recent bed, in Joseph. Yeah, in George, but I'm saying on Monday. In Monday? Monday. It's no, it's on Friday's already. Yeah, Friday. No, no, I'm saying. So if it's playing available, I'm available. On Monday. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this court is preparing to postpone the case on Monday. To Monday next week. And then I can postpone it for you to be apprised of the documentation because this witness says. I don't want to say, you see, I'm putting words into your mouth. Is that the clarification documents you're going to use? That's correct, yes. Those documents are in clarification That's correct. of your That's evidence correct. which you led here. That's correct. Right. Okay. May I request something, my lord? Mm. Uh, I'm not speaking on behalf of all the defense, mm. but that's my request. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll request the same exercise that was done by the what? Uh, Colonel Coase when he filed a supplementary affidavit. I request that his clarification in, in, in my own request, that such clarification be also reduced into writing. <coughs> to be reduced into writing in the form of an affidavit. You are prepared to do that? And incorporate all these documents. So I can do it, man. And when can you bring that application? Because if you if you do it in the form of an affidavit, are you saying he must also come to court? You must Mr. Host did come to court. No, no, court. I'm not talking about Mr. Host. No, no, no. I'm not talking about Mr. Host. I'm talking about this gentleman. He must also if, come to court. If he, he does it in, in an affidavit, he must also come, he must also come to court. Are all you right. saying you'll do that? Yes. Okay. Right? How many days do you need for his affidavit? Two weeks, two years? My Lord, on my side, I just need overnight to go through the documents. We can proceed tomorrow. On my side. No, no. On your side, how many? I also need it overnight. Overnight. And the witness must come on Thursday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Yeah. He can and then come the witness must come on Wednesday. Thursday, he says he's not available. Tomorrow. Yeah, he says he's got to be back home on Thursday. Tomorrow, the witness is available. You know, I quoted you guys a case which says. Litigants should not make it impractical for a case to go on. I want to quote it again. You know, Ngome Zulu tried really, really hard, okay, to be about his business, to mind his business. He's been really quiet even before the recess. He's been trying beyond reasonable measure to just stay out of trouble, stay out of the judge's lane. Remember, they still haven't had that conversation where Ungo Mizulu was trying to apologize to the judge for saying that he is colluding with the state. They are cooking. And Judge Rutter got really, really upset and then needed three dictionaries from Rose to define colluding. You guys remember that time? Yes, that was before the recess. I think Ungo Mizulu has done a brilliant job staying out of trouble, staying silent, coming to court, do his job, go back home. And by do his job, I mean fall asleep, okay? Ignore all the cell phone records, a pinky's testimony. He was extremely quiet throughout that whole two months or however many days that was. And then when it was his turn to cross-examine, um, you know, oh, pinky, we thought the steak knives would be out. We were ready. We were still trying to pop popcorn. Ngomezul went in and out. 
and that was it. He didn't even address a single tower. <laughs> but you know what? Um, first of all, so I commend Ungo Mezulu for his brilliance, for his emotional intelligence, and what do we call it? Reading the room. Okay, he's reading the room. But on today o'clock, Ungo Mezulu said bullshit. Excuse my French. Ungo Mezulu said, you know what? I need to call a spade a spade, and we're tired. I'm not going to speak for the rest of the defense. I'm going to speak for myself. Because, hello, I'm the only one here not being paid by legal aid. So I have a lot to say. And this is what Ungo Mezulu breaks down. And I think he did it really well. I think he did it brilliantly. I hope you were watching Usbanda and um, Baloyi, their demeanor. Okay? They is church mouth. They didn't even want to make any eye contact with the camera ever. They said, we're looking down, okay? We, we, we're trying to dig ourselves out of the six feet grave that Umnisi says we're in, not knowing they're going to go deeper and deeper, all the way to 24 feet. But you know what? I digress. Ngome Zulu says, okay, okay. We've received these papers. And there are about 20 of them, 20 pages. The question I have this state, you have, you, the court, have allowed Stein to come back on condition that there is no new evidence. But let me tell you something. I, I'm a brilliant man and I can read 20 pages real fast. I don't even need an adjournment. I can tell you right here, right now, these 20 pages, will it not invite new evidence and you see judge Rutter scuffling with the papers he is so dismissive in his behavior his body language is disgusting to say the least these four defense lawyers five defense um lawyers attorneys advocates do not deserve what they experienced today mm -mm. I don't know where we can find the supervisor or the manager because the JP is acting as if he doesn't see what's going on. This is unfair. This is unconstitutional. I don't know what section it is in the Constitution. Somebody find it and let us know. This is unconstitutional. This is somebody find the labor lawyers. This is unfair work environment. And Judge Rutter is being highly excessive and dismissive doesn't listen to anyone, has no reasoning in anything he's saying. And for lack of a better word, absolutely disgusting. I am disgusted. And you know what? I've tried to avoid saying anything with regards to Judge Rutter. I've tried to keep this entertaining, but no. Mm -mm. What he did today was disgusting. Like, look at him shuffle them papers. He's got to go. Where are you going, sir? You're at work. You are being paid to be in that seat. You didn't volunteer to be there. That is not pro bono service. You are being paid by taxpayers' money and you're displaying such disgusting behavior. But kudos to Gomez Zulu again for ignoring the behavior because we know Gomez Zulu would have called that out. And he says, that is what I foresee, that there will be new evidence. And Judge Rutter immediately says, so you're a prophet? Gomez Zulu says, no expert. Ooh, that should have been a mic drop moment. Cameras off. End of day. Shut it down. But you know what? Ngome Zulu and um, ooh, Judge Rata have this unwritten Puma Pandesire business going on. They have unfinished business. And that's when uh, Judge Rata realized, oh, wait a minute. This is Ngome Zulu. And he says, I'm not being cynical. If you can foresee something, you see, you see that dictionary life coming back? If you can foresee something, he doesn't get to finish his sentence. Gomez Zulu says, my Lord, let us be genuine. I know that's right. We are not doing the state a favor by not opposing it. But the state should be transparent enough by telling us and stop taking us by surprise. Gomez Zulu is the man, okay? He is brilliant and he called the state out. The judge writer is going, that, that judge writer will defend the state, okay? That is the hill he will die on, okay? He, 
That is the hill he will die on. If there's anything Judge Rata will be known for, it's for fighting. Okay, he he will fight tooth and nail. He will fight so much that he forgot tomorrow is Wednesday and it's a day they can all sit. Everybody's available. Nobody's going nowhere. Okay, I'm sure is not going to KZN. She said, I just need an overnight. And we know Queen of Adjournments is not about her time, but she was willing to cut it down. May I remind the judge that the accused are in custody, a.k.a. Vongani Danzi remains in custody while the court adjourns until Monday. I could go on and on and on. But yeah, somebody said to me yesterday, why did you cut out the cases that... um um Obaloi was referring to they wanted to look them up so you know what the rest of this video i'm leaving you with the cases that judge rata quotes and let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts how do you feel about today how would you rate it let's go with one for poor performance by the judge um and 10 for his brilliant he's doing his job he, this is what we signed up for as the country okay Justice for Senza Miwa. Remember to type justice for Senza Miwa because <laughs> that was another day where no justice was achieved. No mention of the deceased was made. No steps forward. It feels like we moved back. Okay. Stein was on the stand about a year ago. Literally a year ago, actually. It was August 1st, 2023. He's back again. The man that owns August and is back on the stand, and you can already hear from the few times he spoke, he's ready to go. <laughs> he's happy to be back. Okay. That is it from me today. If you've made it this far in the video, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Please thank you so much for watching the ads. It gets um food on the table, okay? Sanna Baba and Lini, okay? And it keeps the lights on. Also, not only that, it keeps me motivated to keep doing these videos for you. Thank you for the super thanks. I absolutely love it. And I'll be back, of course, with the rest. More videos to come today. Um, It feels like there's so much content. Like, I can watch, like, a one-minute session and form a full-on video. Why haven't I done a live, you wonder? Because I'm a scatterbrain and I'll digress. So I want to put all my points across and then we'll do a live. How's that? How's that for a deal? Let me know in the comment section if you want me to go live and I will schedule that. Okay, let's say Thursday. Let's say Thursday. Let me know what that feels. I mean, we have time on our hands, okay? Uh, make sure you drop a one in the comment section if you want to see me live. Um, well, if you want to see me go live. <laughs> um, and what else? Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Make, clip these videos too. Clip these videos. Share them to Twitter. Um, formerly X. Oh, no, share them to X, formerly Twitter. Oh my God. Clearly, I'm talking too much. Let me get off this thing. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you where on my next upload. Yeah. Yes. Where's that, the that judgment of uh, the, the, uh, the director of public prosecutions versus. Uh, I don't know. Somebody takes my faces here. Maybe it's still here. Oh, here it is. Let me quote you. What these guys think? What me? Five judges of the High Court, of the, <laughs> of the Supreme Court. It's Harams, who was the deputy judge president. Malan, who used to be my colleague in Joburg. Mlambo, who is now my JP. Nugent, and Majid, who is who's now in the, Majid is in the Constitutional Court. Nugent is retired. He was an SCA judge. Lambo is still around. Malan is retired. Harams is retired. It's one, two, three, four, five judges. It's not me saying it. Five judges of the SCA. You may be seated, sir. Because I can't get it. Fairness. This is the case of National Director of Public Prosecution versus King, 2010, number three, volume, all South Africa, page 304, South African SCA, Supreme Court of Appeals. This judgment was delivered on the 8th of March, 2010. And this is what it says, amongst other things.
It is well, that's paragraph 41, four, sorry, paragraph four of page 315. And this was a unanimous uh, decision. There was no dissenting decision. Five judges agreeing. It is well to remind Now just to give it a bit of context, let's start it at paragraph three. 